Statistics and data is the very essence of every sport. It really highlights when a player plays well, what he does and, and what he's done to take him to that victory. It's a way of giving the viewer a little bit more. There's more and more fans watching sport nowadays and sport is a really important part of people's lives and I think the more you engage people the more they get interested in sport and the more they play sport and I think everyone can agree in the golf industry that we want as many people playing the sport as possible and I think the one thing sometimes that data does is, is isolate you know, people that can sometimes watch sport and play sport, they don't really understand what's going on. Numbers in golf can be overwhelming. I think the key is to be able to find the numbers that are most important and provide a proper context for it. Um, I think that you can have all the numbers in the world at your disposal, but without the proper context and without knowing what to do with it, it doesn't have a whole lot of value. <laughs> we take really complex data sets from our partners, such as DP World Tour, and we basically overlay our models and our algorithms to produce really simplified outputs to our clients. Obviously, strokes gained is a really complex thing to understand, but when you look at the data behind and the outputs that we put out for the fans, it's really simplified and I think it gives a really simple way of saying, okay, this player is better than the field and this player is worse than the field in those, in those areas. We're not just gonna come and bring a giant glut of a bunch of numbers. We wanna refine out and find things that are most specific and most helpful to players and most beneficial to fans who wanna learn more. One of the largest parts of our relationship with DP World Tour is providing the information for the stats page on the DP World Tour website. It gives the fans a sort of overview of how players are playing. They can look at really simplistic outputs, the scoring or the stroke average, and then they can go a level deeper and obviously look at strokes gained off the tee, look at driving accuracy as well. We're constantly innovating, so there's new stats that we're coming up with and we want to add to the fan engagement that we're seeing here. The Fortinet Threat Score is a project we started working on earlier this year. What we do is we look at the most impactful holes on a championship's outcome and dive into what the player who won the championship that week did to succeed or fail on those holes. What we're able to do is analyze the most essential, important parts of the golf course and what determined a champion. I think we're able to come up with some really smart, concise insights to explain the story of what happened in a new way. Also, we have relationships with other partners, such as Sky Sports, where we're able to give information to the commentators for an event, and therefore they translate that to the fans, obviously over broadcast, and I think that's really where we were able to touch the fans the most. Nowadays, with technology and phones, we've got our statistics coming in here, and it flowers what the viewer can see on TV and, and validates also as to why they might be playing particularly well or why they're actually off their game. Data is really complex, so to deliver it in its raw form to the viewer would, would be overwhelming and confusing and hard to digest. So you have to pick the headlines and sifting through that data to find those headlines is quite difficult. And so we work with 21st Group who are experts in finding the crucial headline from that data. I'd like to think that we're able to give uh, some good valued opinion, although I'm sure not everybody agrees with that. Five, four, three, two. I think statistics and data is the very essence of every sport. People use it as well to identify their weaknesses and also identify their strengths. We wanted players to have access to looking at their performance, where they're trending, um, where they need to improve. So this allows players to go into any particular tournament and look at how they played in terms of strokes gain total, tee to green, putting, etc. And I think this is where coaches start to get involved and they start to really understand why players are playing particularly poorly in certain areas or particularly well in certain areas. What we're trying to do here is best inform players 
which events they should be playing throughout the year to get the most out of their game. And we can start to predict events they're going to finish or have the best chance to finish high in. Generally, the feedback's been great. And I think as long as we keep innovating, we'll keep uh, pleasing the players. There are hardcore golf fans that want that more deeper insight into the game. And that data is a really sort of necessary tool to achieve that. I think, you know, when you have layers and layers of information all along the same subject matter, I think it can only be better. Advanced analytics and statistics are firmly rooted throughout sport all over the world. Um, I think it's only going to continue to expand. We at the 21st Group are really proud to be leading the way. We want to provide the best sort of outlook for sports, golf in particular, to the fans. Um, and I think we're able to do that with the information that we provide. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.